The Sphinx is actually much older than previously thought, and it wasn't the ancient Egyptians who created this hybrid stone creature. Although the venerable statue is one of the most famous stone testimonies in history, it remains shrouded in giant question marks that have the potential to overturn everything we think we know about the past. Incredible as it may seem, some researchers are convinced that the Sphinx guards the entrance to a hidden world that leads us directly to a forbidden historical truth. However, many of the Sphinx's enigmas present themselves in a more fundamental way. Did you know that experts have no idea what the purpose of the imposing structure was? Additionally, we don't even know when the lion with the human head was created and which ruler commissioned its construction. In this regard, most researchers point to Pharaoh Khafre, also known as Kef, who was in power from around 2520 to 2494 BC. Other historians, however, find it more likely that the hybrid creature was created at the behest of King Khufu, about 100 years earlier than the scorching desert soil. Still others, more alternative, are convinced that the Sphinx has adorned the Giza Plateau for over 10,000 years, but we will discuss this shortly. As for the function of the statue, the prevailing idea is that it was a colossal guardian protecting the other magnificent buildings of Giza. Despite this widespread idea, however, official texts specialized in the Sphinx emphasize that its original purpose remains unknown. In addition to the guardian theory, it is hypothesized that the building belonged to the sun cult and represented the deity Ra, although some experts also recognize it as a representation of Pharaoh Khafre. The Sphinx no longer shines in its original splendor, and by this, we do not only mean the lost nose. Some skeptical researchers, such as Robert Temple, go even further in questioning the ancient appearance of the Sphinx. It is hypothesized in some circles that the hybrid creature once represented Anubis, the ancient Egyptian god of funerary rites and mummification. This is at least suggested by the inconsistent proportions between the statue's head and body, which could plausibly be explained by an originally much larger jackal head according to temple explanations. The Anubis Sphinx was located in a water-filled moat, which, in the texts of the ancient pyramids, is referred to as the Jackal Lake. However, since the original head was damaged later, the Egyptians immediately decided to put a human head on the predator's body. Where does the tunnel on the back of the Sphinx lead? Since we can only view the head of the Sphinx, it might be worth taking a closer look at the back of the statue. Prompted by reports from a local worker in the 1970s, Egyptologists Mark Lehner and Zahi Hawass removed a stone to the left of the Sphinx's tail and actually found a small entrance. Officially, however, further investigations revealed no sensational findings. The eerie cavity contained nothing but sterile stone. On the other hand, there are some videos circulating on the web for some time showing another passage blocked by planks. However, it is entirely uncertain where this access leads, as it officially does not exist. Historical truth may be sleeping beneath the Sphinx's paws. This also applies to the legendary Hall of Records, which conservative Egyptologists categorically place in the realm of myths and legends. The alternative field, on the other hand, believes that the hybrid being stands over the truth concerning the peak of ancient Egyptian civilization. In particular, it would be an ancient library holding an incredible treasure of knowledge, a treasure of knowledge that was not accumulated by the inhabitants of the Pharaonic Empire, but by a lost predecessor culture. These discoveries have been completely forgotten, but assuming this fantastic story is indeed real, shouldn't there be some evidence to support its accuracy? Well, this is where some interesting discoveries come into play that almost no one talks about today. When Emile Barres freed the Sphinx from modern sand between 1925 and 1936, he discovered that the structure had two entrances. However, the wells seemingly led nowhere and ended in blind underground alleys. The same applies to the third well that Barres discovered on the body of the statue. By the late 1970s, a team from Sri International began investigating the exciting rumors of secret chambers and hidden tunnels using somewhat more modern means. However, although the American researchers penetrated up to seven meters into the rock, the hoped-for direct hit did not materialize. Yet seismic measurements indicated that there are indeed unknown cavities lying dormant within the depths of the Sphinx. Officially unprobed investigations, however, Scientists suspect that the underground anomalies are purely natural in origin, but it might still be worth digging deeper into the matter. In theory, yes, but in practice it is not possible for a very simple reason. The Egyptian Antiquities Authority has banned any further investigation, 
According to them, this measure was taken to protect the ancient building from damage. But skeptics believe that the authorities are more likely trying to prevent the true secret of the Sphinx from being revealed. The question of the true age is also controversial among official experts. But while this discussion only covers a few decades here, Robert Schoch is convinced that the hybrid creature has stood at Giza for over 10,000 years. After traveling to Egypt in 1989 to test the controversial theories of author John Anthony West, the Boston University professor took less than two minutes to realize that something was wrong with the official historiography. According to him, both the central body of the Sphinx and the walls of the enclosure are adorned with revealing signs of water erosion that simply do not match the last 5,000 years of climate history in Eastern Sahara. Indeed, these are unmistakable signs of heavy rainfall that are said to have affected the rock around 9700 BC. Anyone who puts two and two together and remembers that the roots of ancient Egypt only go back to 3000 BC will inevitably face a shocking truth. The inhabitants of the Pharaonic Empire could not have built the Sphinx. But then, who were the real builders? Well, this is a question that Graham Hancock has also examined. For the British alternative historian, the answer is obvious. There once existed an advanced and forgotten civilization, which was almost completely wiped out by a global flood and served as a teacher for later peoples. And indeed, the Sphinx would take us directly back to that mythical early time. In this regard, Hancock is not only referring to the already mentioned water erosion, but also to the fact that the alignment of the Giza buildings matches the position of the stars in Orion, only if we set the wheel of time back to 10500 BC. But before going astray, Hancock believes that the other structures on the Giza plateau were built by the Egyptians, but much later and meticulously aligned with those of the venerable Sphinx. The talking Sphinx? Perhaps one day the statue will decide to reveal its secrets, because according to an ancient legend, it has already done so once. According to this legend, Thutmose once had a supernatural experience. Even before the future pharaoh ascended to the throne, he lay down to sleep under the head of the Sphinx, which at the time was buried in sand up to its neck. And while the future sovereign slept peacefully, the incredible happened. The Sphinx began to speak and promised to make Thutmose pharaoh if he uncovered the statue. As promised, the man, drunk with sleep, immediately went to work and completely freed the magnificent structure from the hot desert sand. And the Sphinx kept its promise. Thutmose became king of Egypt around 1397 BC. Why are there no inscriptions? But how is it possible that the most absurd speculations about the true origins of the Sphinx still circulate today? From the ancient Egyptians to the aforementioned predecessor culture, to aliens, many different groups are suspected of having created the imposing statue. Despite the obvious importance that the Sphinx must have had for its builders, there are no inscriptions anywhere, neither inside nor outside the structure, explaining who was responsible for its construction. The traditional historian's belief that the hybrid creature was created at the behest of Pharaoh Khafre is essentially based on a stone tablet located between the Sphinx's paws, called the Dream Stele. However, the opposing side argues that this interpretation is merely a scant attempt to stay within the boundaries of generally accepted historiography. Is there a second Sphinx? Although the Great Sphinx of Giza is by no means the only stone hybrid of its kind, one thing is undeniable. In terms of its splendor and size, it is unique, or perhaps not. Authors Jerry Cannon and Malcolm Hutton consider it more likely that there is a second sphinx no less imposing, buried under the sands of the Giza Plateau. After all, we must not forget that in ancient Egyptian art, sphinxes were almost always depicted in pairs. It is said that the menacing twin statue stands opposite the first sphinx and symbolizes the transformation of the sun into the moon. And now you can symbolize the transformation of a click into a subscription. Press the like button and subscribe so you never miss one of our exciting videos.